Hi there, this is Tom Crawford. Uh, I want to thank all of you subscribers to the Global Agronomy LLC channel. Uh, I'd like to give you an update on our water harvesting area here. Uh, in the past month, almost a month, today is the 25th of July. In 25 days in July, we've gotten about seven inches of rain uh, that have some of which has accumulated in our pond here. And so what we're doing is we're by, uh, uh, concentrating the water that has run off, we are effectively increasing the rainfall that's captured by all the plants that are around the, uh, the catchment area. Now, <clears throat> 7.37 inches, which is how many inches we've gotten in July, translates to 187 millimeters. And I'm going to bring this up a little closer so you can see it better. But this is the pattern of rainfall in Tucson. And you can see in July we normally get 59 millimeters of rain on average for the whole month of July. But right now, by the back of the envelope calculation, we have about, about 187 millimeters of rain. So we have uh, been blessed with a lot of rain, which is going to make up for this drought that we've been suffering for the, the last couple of years, at least. Uh, so as you can see, the trees are going to benefit. The, the saguaro cactus will benefit and smaller bushes that are growing around the pond will also benefit. Now one of the things that we have noticed is, during this drought is my wife went out and saw two rattlesnakes in our yard you know, a couple of weeks ago. And the rattlesnakes have done a pretty good job of polishing off the ground squirrels. And the ground squirrels have had a hard time surviving because the amount of food that's available to them in a drought is diminished. So as the ground squirrels begin to get more food, they will reproduce, and then the snakes will have more ground squirrels for dinner. Um, some of these plants have done pretty well during the drought, and others have suffered mightily. But we're seeing a revival of, of most all of them. And if you could just turn the camera down here to show our dahlia. Here's, here's some dahlia that has done well in the drought, but here's a patch right next to it that's barely surviving. We think that this other patch may or may not make it. But as you can see with the rain, the dahlia and the Texas Ranger and the Bird of Paradise over there are doing very nicely and the blue Palo Verde that you can see here is leafing out. Palo Verdes respond very well to rainfall and so we're also seeing, as do mesquite, so we're seeing more leaves come out on all the trees. Thank you for watching. If you'd like more information you can contact me at my website which is globalagronomy.com spelled G-L-O-B-A-L a-G-R-O-N-O-M-Y dot com. Thank you.